In 2018, I started working with artist uh, Sangeeta Kadoor on a couple of wildlife related projects. And in the same year, uh, Kaban Park Metro Station, uh, along with Art and Transit, invited proposals for artwork at this site that is the Kaban Park Metro Station. We thought of having this work up at the Chinnaswami uh, entrance, uh, right next to the Chinnaswami uh, Stadium so that people from even across the street could see it. These birds, I chose them for their colours, their forms, their features, their behaviours and a lot of aspects that make bird watching so interesting. Through so many uh, months of feedback and iterations and feeling sad and emotional and so many tears, but one thing that was constant in this project throughout this timeline were the birds and Yash asking me or encouraging me rather to keep it big, dream big, keep it big. We met as professionals uh, during this program that I curated called the Festival Propositions. In this program, uh, people came and gave live pitches, like a marathon of pitches went about throughout the day. And uh, that's where I re-met Smita, who surprised me with this project called Birds of Kaban Park as a nature journal. That's a proposal that went a year later in conversation with Smita to the BMRCL. And uh, the pandemic hit us. By the time we were out, I was not sure if we could even go to the metro, uh, if I could continue working in the way that I was. So when we went back to the metro to get their permission uh, to get this project rolling again, uh, we proposed that we'll hand paint it inside the metro station uh, because uh, the distance is so narrow, the, the lane is so narrow that it allows for intimacy and people are closer to the artwork than they would have been uh, compared to where we were proposing for it earlier. One of the artists that we got in touch with to execute this project is Param, who's painting with us now, and he's one of the most exciting uh, public space practitioners because he comes with immense craft and he comes with so much skill that I, I think some birds are talking to you, like the crow, uh, like the bulbul, red whisker. They really have personality when you look at them and sometimes you can really even see the reflection in the eyes. Param has worked to that level of detail. I make myself relax when I come to this area like Kaban Park and because complete traffic will be cut down when you enter the Kaban Park. So this is a metro station where even the public get attention what is inside the Kaban Park. This entire space that the Bangalore metro has, you have so many different kinds of people who come in from all walks of life. Uh, some of them are in a hurry, some of them have time to spare, some of them are new to Bangalore, some of them have been here for decades. Uh, the kinds of experiences and uh, the emotions that they bring with them, that is what makes the space very, very special. And I don't think I'd be able to have this kind of a reaction to uh, this project at any other space. I was not aware of like too much into birds things. Now I'm getting knowledge through painting this. In the past few days, we've seen some bird experts. We've seen some wildlife photographers pass by. We've seen some children who've interacted, who've really been fascinated by what's emerging. Bangalore, I feel personally, is very lucky to have so much variety in the number of birds that we have. There's so much of beauty around us. We just need to take a few moments to pause and look at the world around us and live life carefree like these birds. I'm sure they have worries of their own about where their next worm is coming from. But living life so simplistically, that is something that maybe we all could learn or take a leaf out of their book.